wholes and parts, knowing the facts fluently. We've already learned we can add parts together to find out what the whole is. Part plus part, or part plus part plus part, add up to make the whole. Knowing how it works is good. Now let's get good at doing it. It's time to learn the addition facts. You want to know these without counting or thinking so that your brain is free to think about more complicated things. It will help you figure out ways to answer questions and solve problems by being able to break numbers into their parts and put them back together. What's one plus one? If you said two right away without thinking, great. What if I said, what's seven plus five? You might have had to slow down and think about it or had to count to find the answer. You want to be able to answer seven plus five at least almost as fast as one plus one. But there are 121 facts! There are 121 facts that you can learn. We'll use strategies to make it easier. Pay attention to which strategies help you the most. Some of them are using pictures and things to show what the numbers mean, learning groups of facts that show patterns, so we can remember one pattern that goes with 10 or 20 facts, practicing and learning meaning in lots of different ways. Figure out your favorites, but mix them up. Here's how the chart works. To find seven plus six, find the seven row and the six column. The box where they meet has the answer, 13. You could have also found the six row and the seven column. Order doesn't matter in adding. But let's try to learn these so you don't need a chart or to count. The next lesson, the first 20 facts. Let's do this. The legal stuff.